Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 6. So after last match, we played Dumbarton off camera. That was the one we were going to come back for, but the Sterling game got canceled. Uh, so now we're, well, anyway, we lost that one. Another 1-0 uh, away game. So my away tactic is starting to let me down. Um, I may end up going with the home tactic it's more aggressive and i think we i think we've shown i think that that's going to give us a good run my away form was doing very well i mean three clean sheets in a row in the league but two losses in a row two out of three in away games i'm a little perturbed by that but we're back for dumb for line athletic today in the fourth round we were only expected to reach the third round, so we should get drilled here. They are a premier side, and uh, then Sterling Albion, who are bottom of the table, but the team that beat us earlier in the season. We did have a uh, couple of transfer requests. Uh, Dan Unwin talked about him last episode. As feared, he did reject our contract. Uh, he went somewhere else. Uh, we got an offer for Phil Sainsbury from Inverness, uh, but it was for $0.00. And, you know, he's he's our starting right back. So looking at Inverness, they're bottom of the table, one league above us. They're going to get relegated. We're going to go up. And so we'll be in their place next year. And so I said, you know, Phil doesn't need to go there, you know, and they don't want to pay us any money. We also got an offer for one of our young players, uh, 17 year old five star potential and they wanted him for for free for nothing and i went dude you're crazy anyway so we didn't make any moves we don't probably are not going to make any moves never say never with me you know how that goes i like to buy people um so we are at home we're actually underdogs which is not a surprise so we are going to do a our big away this is a much bigger team same lineup, but again, cautious, you know, just changes up a little bit. So let's get into the match. They're playing a flat 4-4-2. Four, four, and let's see. I'm going to give them a spot of encouragement. They may not like that, but it is early days here in the match. All right, Avernell. McGregor goes over the top. Nice little flick on header, but Murphy loses it. Oh, my God. Mrs. Butterworth put one over our keeper right off the crossbar, and it bounces into the net. That was a pretty good shot. Oh, man. From way out, too. Oh, his, his guy cleared the defender. That was perfectly set up. Keeper probably should have got there, but... Oh, boy. All right, McGregor. And he loses it. Buttersworth. And the keeper can't make the save. Oh, boy. All right, let's jump in tactic-wise. Uh, we're going to drop, and I'm going to condense that top line very tight. Oh, man. I mean, I knew they were going to beat us, but I wasn't expecting to be two goals down in the 14th minute. All right. Show some passion. They've got the ball again. I'm going to go ahead and make that change. Close him down sooner than later. All right, Ray Devaney, he's in space. He doesn't have anybody up with him. He's, he's laid off the pass. McKenzie, nice. Over the top. That's a nice ball. It's in. Header! Oh, Ray Devaney just off the mark. We still get our first shot of the game. Come on, boys. Yeah, I just want to be competitive here, man. I don't want to be... Oh, MacArthur. MacArthur! Oh, my God! He's like eight matches, nine matches without a goal. Oh, I needed that one. 
we needed that one. He has got to find the mark again. But we said early in the season, he just was... Oh. He's got a 30-minute hat trick. Oh, my God. They're complacent. And that one's just lumped out. Sainsbury. Coming back in. Oh, that was horrible. Demand more. Oh, don't let him shoot. He'll score from right there. All right, Murphy. McGregor loses it. Burgess. Oh, good tackle. Goes to our player. I am surprised by that. Brindle. Man, man. Oh, there was a great save. Good block. Oh, some good defense right there. Butterworth almost had his fourth. Saneberry. Get rid of the ball, dude. Oh, hello. And no card? No card. Okay. Well, it, it wasn't, that's not good when you don't even get a highlight from the free kick. MacArthur! Just a deflection by the keeper. Damn. I mean, our boys are still composed coming into the half. It would be nice to nick one here if we could, but put it in. Put it in. Oh, what a shot by Bobby Brindle. MacArthur, he hasn't found the net in a while, but he does get a nice assist there. Seventh goal of the season for Brindle. Makes it, I mean, at least it looks good. <laughs> three ones better than three nil. Um, I am going to go assertive. Things just haven't gone right. No cards. All right. The weird thing is, even though we're getting drilled, we're not, nobody's playing with that bad of a rating. So that, oh, well, I spoke too soon there. Hughes. Johnson got a hand on it, but it goes right through his jelly hands. Hughes puts it in his first goal of the season. Let's tighten up. Damn, Nation. A good tap away. Goes right to their player, unfortunately. Oh, that one sails over. I mean, Avenel's got a... All right, you know what? We're going to pull Avenel off. Let's put Rance... Uh, let's see. I'm going to bring Gibson into the center. And then we're going to put Ransom on the outside, I think. Oh, I want to undo that move. Why did it tell me he could play there? I don't know. All right, so let's undo both moves. Because I want Avenel off. All right, we'll put Ransom in. Anybody else looking pretty bad? Gibson? Problem is, I don't have any anybody that can play left back. Actually, can I move Brindle back there? And then put Blair Bremner in the mid. Let's try that. Can't hurt us, right? I don't think that could hurt us at all. All right. Show some passion. Fire him up a little bit. 
All right, Sainsbury gets booked. Oh, there's a nice little volley clearance. Good job. Boy, they're having a lot of highlights. <laughs> Oh, he sends it high. Whew. We're going to get the goal kick. All right. Uh, I'm going to make a sub. Let's pull off uh, Ray Devaney or David Scott. All right. You know what? Let's push forward here in the final 10 minutes. Uh, MacArthur, you got to go back and get that ball. Off target again. That's good. I get, you know, it looks like condensing that line did help us out a little bit. I mean, you know, am I surprised? No. <laughs> Not in the least. Um, we're going to be calm. Can't fault you. It was just one of those days. You know, we kind of expected it walking in, hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. It doesn't affect our league standing. We pick up another $19,530. But you know what? In, this, in the Scottish Cup, that's a three-and-a-half star reputation event. I think we did pretty good. All right, we'll be back for the next match in seven days with Scottish Albion. All right, we're back for the Sterling Albion game. We are at home for this one, and we are heavily favored, so we're going to go back to our more attacking home tactic. Now, I would like, unfortunately, he is just the best player we've got out there, isn't he? Good gosh. I'm going to move Brindle there. Ray Devaney is suspended. I'm going to put Billy Brimner on the right. And Gibson, I actually want out. Now, who else? Anybody? Anybody want to play? Chris Smith. How about Chris Dennis? Yeah, you're a striker. That doesn't help me. You're a striker, doesn't help me. You're a striker, doesn't help me. Mid-center. Chris Smith? I've really got a small squad here, much smaller than I'm used to. I'm going to put Smith in. Do I start him? I don't think so. You know what? I want to rest McKenzie here, too. Scott, 13 passing. I'm going to start Scott. We've got to rest some of our players, you know, especially with, you know, only three or four days between matches. I can't, afford, you know, you saw how thin the squad is, right? I cannot afford any of them to break down. So we need to rest some of our better players, especially that left back. You know, it may be a position I've got to look at and get one guy in, even if he's a loney. If I can get another loan in, I don't know if I can. But we'll uh, we'll look at that. All right, there's a good header, Scott. Oh, nice ball, MacArthur. Sweet touch with that left foot, and he gets taken down, but it's not a foul. Crud. All right, Avenel fights, fights for it. Picks up the ball. Scott out into Brindle. Into the box. He can't find his man. There's a shot. Oh, and it goes off the woodwork. It was a nice ping, though. Avenel off target with a header. Come on, boys. I'm going to tell him to get creative. A penalty! Hello. This is probably our right back again. 
No, it's Brimner. <laughs> Should have been our right back because that was pathetic. Right to him, dude. Right to him. Sainsbury, he's the goal scorer on penalties. Oh, what a ball through the middle. Kieran Thompson, I think he's the one that scored for him last time when they beat us. Monroe, nice assist. Damn it. Demand more. So we find ourselves down 1-0. Push forward. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Uh, yes, disappointing. Let's do something about that, shall we? Demand more. I mean, we're putting the shots up there. All right. I think we're controlling the ball. Let's try to work it into the box. See if that helps us get more on target. Show some passion. Oh, and of course it goes to their highlight. Oh, my God. We got a defensive header, and it goes right to their guy for the head in. Ugh. Thankfully, he was offsides. All right. Brindle. What was that? MacArthur pounces on it. He's in. And it goes right to the keeper. <laughs> Brindle into the box. It's there. Sandy MacArthur gets number 20 on a freebie. It just bounces through two or three defenders. And he has been ice cold, but hopefully that gets him off the mark. Number 20 on the season. All right, let's make a sub here. Uh, Baxter for Clark. Actually, let's bring, let's bring Brindle back up top. Actually, no, we're not. Andy Clark. And I'm going to bring in McKenzie, who's our starter. See if he can do something for us off the bench. Brimner. Oh, my God. It doesn't. We just can't get there. Damn. Oh, Clark loses it. Shit. It's a decent tap away, but it's right to Thompson in stride. Are we going to have to be happy to settle for a draw here? Sainsbury, Brimner. Into the box, headed down. Have we stolen it in the final 30 seconds of the match? Adam Murphy, MacArthur, another assist. Is that two assists and a goal this game? Holy cow. All right, well, that was a poor cross attempt. Lucky bounce. MacArthur with a nice header down to his strike partner. And Murphy puts it in. Blow the whistle. Oh, we steal the game. We deserve to win, but we stole that game. Wow. Um, I'm going to go aggressive. We may have won, but I am still unhappy. That was a game we should have won. 2-0, 3-0. Horrible, horrible. All right, MacArthur ends his goal drought over eight, over 11 hours of soccer without a goal. And we come from behind to win. All right, that puts us seven points up with a game in hand. So we're doing well. And how many games do we play? I don't remember. But we still got a lot. Two, six, ten... 15 games to go, 45 points worth. I mean, that's a lot of points. I mean, they could get up to 90, so we've got a ways to go. <laughs>
Um, even Sterling could catch us. Barely, but they could catch us. Long way to go. Knocked out, knocked out, knocked out. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the board uh, refused to let me go on a, a coaching uh, thing again. Let me look at our staff. Yeah. I mean, I've got room, but I don't really have the budget. I really don't have the budget. So, all right. Well, I think I'm going to look for a left back because I think I need depth there. I need cover, if nothing else. It would be nice to be able to upgrade, but we're going to look at that. We'll come back uh, for... Tell you what, let's come back for Cove and for Martin. But Cove is in second. That'll be a crucial matchup, and then we'll end the season with them. So we'll get another handful of games in. We'll come back for Cove. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. Guys, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.